Hey everybody, Gary here from OK Boomer. Hitting 50 was kind of a milestone in my life for a lot of different reasons. One was, you know, it's 50, it's half century, and some of you may be facing that same issue this year or you're past it. But the other issue that I faced, and it's more of a vanity issue, hair. And I'm not talking body hair, back hair, chest hair, hair below. I'm talking about the hair that goes in the nose and hair in the ears. When I hit 50, all of a sudden this stuff was sprouting everywhere. And not necessarily that deep sprouted stuff that we used to laugh at granddad about, but I'm talking about the hair that would be, you know, on long side of the ear or on the edge and hair that was sticking out of your nose. Now, I'm still in the public eye a little bit, so I kind of have to care what I look like. I can't always go out in my flannels. So I needed to look at, you know, hair trimmers. So I picked on two that were kind of hot, top rated on Amazon, so why not? They were cheap and got it shipped to my house. No embarrassing trips to Walmart for this guy. <laughs> so I first one was the wall. Wall, everybody knows the name for the hair clippers, which are great. I have a pair of those myself, but nose hair trimmer. So it comes like this. It's just a little guy. It was 10 bucks. And it comes, you know, you put a battery in a little uh, AAA battery stick, turn it on, and dig out your. Well, here, I'll give you a little demonstration. This got a full battery, so let's go. Ready? I'm going to turn it on. It's pretty quiet, but not bad. No, it's really not that bad. And then you do the ears. So, not bad. It's quiet. You, you kind of pick it out and put it away in your drawer. Not bad at all for 10 bucks. The next one we're going to look at today is the Philips 3000 or the Series 3000. Like what a fancy name for a nose hair trimmer. Like seriously guys at Philips, really? Why not call it the XLT Model D? Like who comes up with these names? But this one was a little bit more expensive, just under 20 bucks. Uh, they come in either a blue tip or like this one, here's an orange tip. And same thing, AAA battery, you stick it in, it's, you just turn it. And it comes again with several attachments. I don't use the attachments because seriously, like I, I'm not like some fancy guy, maybe, you know, movie star, but uh, I just need to get the job done. And you know what I'm talking about. So you turn it on, you put it in your nose and I'll give you a little demonstration. It's a fully charged battery. You just turn it on nice and quiet and you just dig around, dig around the ears, you know, boom, 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 get all that crap. But what I really like about the Phillips is over the wall, is then I just turn it on and rinse it under the bathroom sink. All those little black hairs and whatever skin cooties go down the drain. Wife is happy, I'm happy, we're all happy. And I actually look kind of presentable when I'm teaching Taekwondo. So I highly recommend the Philips 3000, Series 3000. Uh, link is below. If you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you. And really hope this answers your question on what the best nose hair trimmer is, at least in 2021. Maybe 2022 we'll come up with something better. But for right now, Series 3000. Get it today.